Good morning. How is everybody today? It's a Friday. Friday. I always love that. I love Friday. Even though I like what I'm doing at the job, I still enjoy the idea of doing things for myself on the weekend. Right? Ah, I got my Wawa shirt on. Everybody love Wawa as much as I do. Out here in the Outer Banks, I do miss them. The last um, Wawa stop is somewhere in the North Park, I think it is. So we try to stop there every time. Um, so anyway, we're back for our Friday meditation. Finish the book. Journey to the Heart by Melody Davy. And we'll read today. Here we go. See how powerful you are. People who believe they're victims get to be right. Each experience they have convinces them of that. They don't open themselves to lessons, the growth, and the beauty of each situation they encounter. All they can do is see their victimization. Many of us have done the hard work to shift our belief systems about being a victim. As we did that, we noticed that the scenery in our lives changed. When we believe something different, we get to see something different. That's a really important one. It really is what we think that matters. People who believe they have powers to get to be right, too. Although we know there is much in life we can't control, we also know we have the power to think, to feel, to choose, and to take responsibility for ourselves and our lives. We're discovering our creative powers and our power to love, including our power to love ourselves. We've embraced our power to grow, to change, to move forward, we know we have the power to claim our lives and take responsibility for ourselves in any situation life brings. Although life may deal us certain hard blows, we've learned to see beyond that. We see life's beauty, gifts, and lessons, and its mysterious and sometimes magical nature. On the road to freedom, we may have made a stopover. We believed we were victims, and we got to be right. Now our journey has led us someplace else. We know we have powers. We know we have choices. And we no longer need to be right. Just free. See how powerful you are. It is easy to play the victim role, isn't it? Um, I said yesterday, I think, something from my book, which I will show, because I keep forgetting to do that. Here's the book, We've Got to Stop Meeting Like This. Um, if you look me up on Amazon, it's Donna Ferris, you'll find it. Um, but one of the things I do say in this book is, um, I spent a lifetime of being a victim, you know, a victim of childhood dysfunction, a victim of divorce, you know, things always went, happened to me. Um, and they don't really happen to us, right? I mean, things happen to everybody, but it's all on how you see yourself. Am I the? Am I stuck here? You know, am I going to wallow in this forever? And certainly, there's a there's a lot of time that makes sense to wallow. Well, it's a good. It can be um, very healing sometimes to just to sit with it for a while. But it doesn't get us anywhere, right? And um, the meditation I want to do today is one that was really impactful for me going through my divorce, you know, where I was feeling very victimized, and it's hard not to feel victimized in that situation. But um, it really pulled me out of it because uh, it, it kind of, you know, reminded me that life is short and there's things that we want to accomplish and, um, you know, what do we want to look at at our lives uh, when we get to be you know, Betty White's age, right? She died at 99, and we miss her. <laughs> we miss her.
miss her. We don't say things like, oh, she had a wonderful life, or oh, we say, well, I really wish I could have gotten one more, you know, TV show out of her, you know, or one more quip, because she was brilliant at that. Um, and that's how, you know, we all want to be, right? We don't want to just... I think that there's always that phrase, you know, I want to slide into the end of my life, you know, uh, some people say holding a drink and the whole bit, um, still, you know, still kicking it till the end, still expiring till the end, um, I, think that's, I think that's certainly me. So let's, let's take a moment here and close our eyes and start to settle into our bodies for a moment, and we'll take a... We took ten breaths in this one. I don't think it will go longer than that. So just breathing. And exhaling. And try to break those breaths a little longer if you can. Maybe let the eyes and focus. The jaw release as you move. With the breath. Notice the neck and let it release, let the shoulders drop. And take that softness down the body, down the arms to the fingers, down the core, the hips, the glutes, all the way down to the toes of your legs. And if there's any remaining tension, just take a minute for a second here, inhale, and exhale, let that go too. So here in this place, I want you to imagine yourself at 85, or if you're already 85, imagine yourself at 95. What are you, where are you at? What is around you? Who do you see during the day? How are you moving? Are you able to walk? Are you able to do the things you still want to do? And as you look back over your life, what have you accomplished? Who have you loved? Who have you cherished? What were the top three things that you did that mattered? I bet they're not in work. I bet they're not at your job. I bet they were outside of that. At least for many of us that work in corporate. And I bet if they are at work, because sometimes they are, they weren't related to, to selling product or getting a promotion. That they were about the people. What else do you see there in your, in your golden years? Who are you loving now? How are you sharing your wisdom? Let's just spend one more moment here just thinking about this place. That, this place that is a gift to be in. And then come back to today. What things do we need to do to make this happen? What's that? 
a small change, a small addition to our lives today or this week that can make that imagination that you just had that what you want it to be, what you want to be then happen. If you want to make sure that you're mobile or you're healthy, what choices can you make today to make that happen? If you want to have people around you that you love, and some of those relationships are fractured right now, what can you do to change them? When we look back on our lives in the future, right, by doing this little exercise, it brings things to sharp light, right? What am I doing with my days? How can I change? I really do and do the things that matter to me. It doesn't mean quit your job, it just means looking at the hours that you have and where can you fit in your dreams. Where can you fit in the love of your life? The loves of your life. Let's take a deep, deep breath in. Exhale any tension that might have started here, but I want you to know that you can do any of this. But you have to know what you want. And as we close, I'll share a quote that I posted this morning. Life is short, and each one of us needs to identify and follow our deepest aspirations, rekindle if needed, and find a community of friends and allies who share the same dream. Your community does matter. We are, I heard it yesterday, we are the sum of five people that we're uh, engaging with. So if you're having um, some disconnects in what you want in your life. Find your people. Some of them may be here on on Facebook and Instagram. I found many people here by following the groups that I have. Elephant Journal, um, you know, Yoga for the Creative Soul is a great one. Um, I have a lot of ideas, so just email me if you, if you want. But it's very helpful to find them. So let's just finish up. Inhale and exhale. And just know that everything's possible. We just got to know what we want. Two more breaths, just resting in that thought of possibility. And open your eyes. You see the, the sky has lightened quite a bit, so I need to catch the sunrise. But I hope you all have a great day. You know that um, if you need anything, let me know. I'm on. You know where to find me at this point. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> have an amazing day. Well, let's see if I can shut this off without without having some sort of issues. <laughs> Have a great one. Bye.